Hello peoples, welcome back to another video for Pet Battle World Quests. Today we are in Suramar at Felsol Hold. Right here. And our opponent today is on the southern edge here. He's called the Felsol Seer. He's not part of the Family Familiars achievement. Battle battles. So you don't have to choose a specific team to fight against him to acquire your Nightmare Trent, but you can if you want, if you want that extra challenge. So he's just right down here outside this Arcway entrance. And maybe you'll see a couple people gathered in front of him. And he's sort of a unique encounter, but he is pretty easy. He uses three floating eyeball pets. All magical, all sort of similar and some of them share abilities. I thought he was going to be tougher than he was but he's actually pretty simple. All I had to use was several dragons and in one case I only had to use Dream Whippling to take out all three. So yeah, not too difficult at all. First up is Eye of Inquisition. He's got Psychic Blast which deals damage and extra damage if the weather is arcane winds. None of his pets have arcane winds or abilities that cause it, so this only de deals the smaller amount of damage. Drain power decreases the damage you do, but increases the damage he does. And Dark Rebirth, this will cause him to resurrect if he's killed in that turn with full health, but he loses 20% health per round in case it goes off. So, oh, and I have found that the enemy uses this if they are, I think, below 25% health. So when they get that low, make sure you pass your turn instead of attacking to make sure they use it in vain. That they'll waste it and then you can just attack next turn so that, that they won't revive. Okay, starting off, what's he gonna do? Probably drain power, that makes sense. And with Dream Weppling, I'm probably gonna put up my defenses with Emerald Presence, just so I can last longer. And attack with Sleeping Gas. That's my only Dragon type attack, I believe. Yeah, the other one is Emerald Bite, which is a magical type attack. Now, Sleeping Gas does a one turn cooldown, but I can use Healing Flame in the meantime. There we go. Now, because his abilities, Drain Power has a four round cooldown, Psychic, Psychic Blast has one round cooldown, he's gonna have sometimes every other round to do nothing. So I get a free turn to do free damage. There is Psychic Blast. Now his Drain Power is still on cooldown. Psychic Blast is on a cooldown for one turn, so I get to do, do whatever I want, like refresh my shield. Next turn I'm going to attack. There's Drain Power. Now is this 25% health? I'm going to just check real quick. 1745 divided by 4. 436.25, so he's just above 25% health. I'm gonna heal and see if he uses Dark Rebirth. No. If this doesn't kill him, he might use it. No. Well, he's dead. He missed it. And I completely avoided that. Next pet is Eye of Interrogation. What does he got? He also has Drain Power. And Focus... No? Focus Beams is shared by the last pet as well as Interrupting Gaze. Now Focus Beams is a magic attack and increases each time it's used. So you better take him out quickly, better than slowly. Interrupting Gaze, and a lot of pets have a similar ability. Deals damage and interrupts the opponent's round if the pet goes first. Which is pretty hard to counter because these guys are fast pets. Look at this one, 294 and the other one is 350. Yeah, no way you're gonna find something faster than that. Even if you pick flying pets, I personally wouldn't because all they have are magic abilities and flying pets don't like magic abilities. Alright, let's refresh our Emerald Presence just so we can take some hits. And then use Sleeping Gas. Ah, there it is, Interrupting Gears. That's okay, I can use Sleeping Gas this turn instead. There he goes with Focused Beams. I suppose I can use Healing Flame. There we go. Sleeping Ass again because its cooldown is up. 
So basically every other turn you want to use Sleeping Gas uh, and maybe Emerald Presence and Healing Flame whenever those are available. Oh, and we're trying to make sure you don't let Emerald Presence fall off because high defense, keeping your defenses up is actually pretty helpful. That interrupting gaze is kind of annoying, to be honest. There we go. Now it's two down, and I have still three pets. Now what's he going to do first? Interrupting gaze? Probably, and I might die. Let's watch. There it is, and there goes Dream Whelpling. It's okay. Emerald Proto Whelp is usually enough to take out the third pet. Eye of Impetration. That is not a word I'm familiar with. Impetration. I'm just going to look this up to see if that is a word. Transitive verb. To obtain by request or entreaty. To ask for. Okay, nice. So, like, he's an inquisitor. He fishes out secrets out of his captives and stuff. So yeah, that's a pretty complicated word for what he does. He also has interrupting gaze and focus beams like the second pet's eye of interrogation, but he also has eye blast, which deals damage and reduces your pet's speed by 25%. Not as bad as increasing damage each time it's used, but yeah, you're going to be pretty slow, which, but it is still kind of useless because he's a very fast pet at 350. Uh, he could have picked something else, to be honest. Now, as with, uh, what is it called? Dream Whelpling, put up your defenses first, Emerald Presence. And the good, well, he does have inter interrupting gears. I was going to say the good thing about him is that he doesn't have it. So, and your heal is Emerald Dream instead of Healing Flame. Yeah, Healing Flame. And we just used Interrupting Gears, and he's got four rounds left on that. Three now. I believe it's a four round cooldown? Three round cooldown. So he's got two turns left before he uses it again. Here's the second turn. And this is the third turn. Or maybe I just counted wrong, because there it was. Yeah, I counted wrong. Okay, so here is the first round of a new set of three. But he's probably going to die. Or maybe I am. Yeah, okay, he's dead. He chose to use Eye Blast there instead of Focus Beams. That would have killed me. Yeah, well. Okay, then this has been Fell Soul Seer. Not part of the Family Familiar achievement. But if you want to, for fun, you can choose a pet of one specific type to go against him with. Uh, pretty easily countered with all dragons. You don't have to use emerald dragons, you could even use something like Onyxian Whelpling. The one that is found in Just Wallow Marsh. Just Wallow. Spawn of Onyxia, just right outside Onyxia's lair. You can use Breath or Tail Sweep. And Tail Sweep is a good attack because since his, all his pets are fast, you can use Tail Sweep to deal that extra damage. Very nice. He's also got Healing Flame and maybe a Lift Off to avoid attacks to reduce a bit of extra damage. And who knows, maybe there are some other dragon pets who have special abilities that can help out in different ways. Alright then, well, if you like this video, if it's been helpful, feel free to leave a like, and if you want to follow along with these videos or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well. Till next time, be swell, stay well, and farewell.